Hello everyone, this is Cool IT Help, and I'm here with the new video tutorial on the table view. So in this tutorial, we will see how to get the values entered inside the text field that we have inside the table view. So first, let me run this example. I'm using the same project that I have given you inside the description box. So you guys can use the same link and you can download the same project and you can import inside your NetBeans IDE. Then you can continue with this video. So I'm going to run the current example. Okay. Okay, it's taking well. Now we are here. If this is our stage and we have the remarks column and we have these text field inside this. Okay. So I have already described all the stuff in my previous video tutorial. I have given the link of the same video tutorial inside the description box. If you guys are new on this video tutorial, so you guys just watch that video first, then come back and continue with this video, then you will get a clear understanding. It's a very easy. So guys, what I'm going to do and what we have, once you import the same project in your NetBeans ID, then you will have the same thing as you can see on my screen. And we have used the FXML, okay, and we have added this button to print the values entered inside this text field, okay. As well as I will show you, you can collect these values inside an array list or you can use it further. This is based on your situation, okay, guys. So, so far what we have, we have this stage, this is the remarks column and we have the text field inside it and we have a single button. So, what I'm going to do, I'll write a code on this button click action, then we will collect the values entered inside this text field. Okay guys, now I'm closing this, now come here in the fxml document controller.java file. As usual, this is the same file. Okay, we have the table view and in the initialize method, we have created the columns and then we have added these columns inside the table view and after that we have created this observable array list for representing the data and for data model we have used this person class. So you guys, you guys if you still have any doubt, so just watch the previous video, the link I have given in the description box, so follow that one and come back here and continue with this video. So again, we have the set cell value factory and we have connected the data with the property, okay? After that, we have added this observable data list inside the table view. And finally, this is going to be show on the stage. Okay, guys, now, now what we have to do, okay? We have to collect the data that we have entered inside the text field and we will print this on the console okay you have another choice as well you can collect the same data inside in error list and you can use it further okay so what we have to do now so the first step we have to create the action method so we will connect this action method with the button on the screen so just copy the same code as i have done and paste it here now you can see here this is the simple code now delete the inside there's a no requirement of that and I will change the name of the method so give any useful name like handle text field data Okay, rest of the things will be same because this is the action method and we have to connect with the on action of the button click. Okay, so we have done so good so far. And now we have to go inside the fxml document.fxml. Okay, now come here. And now as you can see on the line number 19, there is a button. And now we have to connect that action method with this button. So what you will do, you have to simply type on action place is equal to double quotes and 
put a hash sign, okay. And there's no suggestion, okay, no problem. Go back to the document controller.java and just copy the name of this method from here and go back inside the fxml and paste this name here. Now this on action property is connected with that method. So every time once you click the button click the code what we write inside this method will be executed. Okay, so we have connected so far. Now in the next step we have to, to fetch the text field data that we have entered in the UI. So what you will do? Okay, now, now here we need to create the observable observable list. Okay, and now I'm using the generic and what we are going to put inside, we are going to put the person objects inside. So I am creating a, this object data rows and now you have to use fx collections dot observable array list okay we have created this observable list and now now you have to iterate on the data so where is the data now just scroll up and see here this is the observable list that we have prepared with the person the data model and these are the rows that are present inside this data so we are going to use this data object and we will iterate on this okay so I will use a for loop person data as you can see here the data is of type this is observable list and this observable list is holding the person object okay now come back here so we are going to iterate on this data one by one and now place a packet and now we will check now we will do a check if you have written something inside the text field or it is blank so to do that you have to place the if place a check like bean dot get remark because remark is a text field so you will get the object of the text field with the help of this bean dot get remark and now you have to access the text what you have written inside the text field to do that you have to use the method get text this is the text field method so it will return the text written inside the text field okay now now we have to do a check is it empty or something is written inside now you have to do a check like is empty okay so this condition will return you true or false depends on the data is present inside the text field or not so we will not collect the text field that doesn't have the data that means if you are leaving the text field empty then we are not going to print that one okay so that's why I have placed this sign negation sign here now now we have a choice like if you want to use the row on which we have written something that means the text field in which we have written something and we will get the same row data with the help of the person being because each row is a person object so you can collect that person object here like data rows dot add bean okay so we have collected 
the person object inside the data rows that simple okay or now you want to print something so you can just do sys so here and you can print the value that you have entered inside the text field okay guys so going to print how you will do that you have to use the object like bean dot get remark this will return you the object or text field and then you have to use the method get text this is the method of text field so it will return the text written inside the text field okay guys now it's done now save it okay before running it going to do a clean build one more time okay it's done and now going to execute the same program okay go to this file table example dot java and now uh, just uh, use this uh, option run file or you can press shift plus f6 to run it and now as you can see here this is the text fields i'm going to write marks obtain is 60% and marks obtain is 20% and now marks obtain 70% and similar way I'm going to write here because of the demonstration I need to write so 60 20 50 now here marks of 10 is 40 percent now marks of 10 80 percent marks of 10 is 40 percent 49 percent marks of 10 and 66 percent and now the marks obtained on the last row it is 99 percent okay guys so you have entered some text inside this text field okay across the rows okay so each row has a text field and we have written the sum text inside the text field now going to press this print value okay guys once you press you will see the console now here on the console you can see here that the first text field what we have written this is the marks obtained 60 percent you can see here what we have entered is printed on the console as per expectation and the marks obtained 20 percent the marks obtained is 50 percent 40 percent 80 percent 49 percent 66 percent and 99 percent it's working perfectly okay guys and one more thing i would like to tell you okay here here this this line is printing all the text value that we have entered the text fields so we're using these for loop okay but at line number 89 we have collected we have collected okay we have collected the bean inside the data row this is the again an observable list and it is holding the person kind of objects inside okay so you can use this list further for your use i think this much clear for you if you have still any doubt so please comment below i will try to reply on your queries as soon as possible so guys keep watching that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates thanks for watching